What's up YouTube? This is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Today we're going to be talking about the best processor out on the market. We're going to talk all things Trinov right after the intro. So the first things first, the setup is pretty complicated um, when it comes to the actual setup and configurations. That's why you need your dealer um, or us to do it. Voila. So when you're purchasing from us, that is something that we are going to provide for you that is included in the price and the service is me personally. Um, I will be traveling to your location to set up the Trinoff processor. So that is kind of cumbersome compared to just the plug and play, you know, Denon Marantz receiver type of thing. It's There's a little bit more of a setup process to get everything up and going. Um, you will need a computer and uh, things like that. So once you get past and everything set up, you will do all the channels and um, get everything broken out into how you want your theater laid out from a speaker standpoint, whether it's a Trinoff based speaker layout or a Dolby Atmos speaker layout or an Oro uh, 3D speaker layout, you'll choose kind of which speaker format you're going towards and um, that's where you'll really start the optimization and calibration processes. Digging into it a little further, once you have everything set up and you're ready for calibration, this little guy here, it's very important to set it up um, as perfect as you can get it. And uh, one, of the, one of the things that I use to make sure that I'm uh, spot on during my calibrations, I'll use a laser sight to get the center of the room and make sure the center of the screen is going through the center of the tweeter. And that way I can line up the nose of uh, this little guy right here lined up with the tall one back here because you want it lined up in center perfectly with the room as well. If you have it too much pointed this way, it'll be as if your head is tilted this way. If you have it too much this way, it'll be like as if your head, it's going to calibrate the room. Imagine it, if this was your nose, this is the top of your head and these are your two ears. That is how you want it to be lined up in the room. You don't want it tilted uh, back, tilted forward, tilted sideways. Just it'd be like if your head was tilted that way. So um, this is a pretty cool tool. Um, it's not cheap. Um, you don't need it per se. We can bring it with, uh, with us um, on our person whenever we travel to do the calibration. But if you want to tinker around with your theater after we set it up initially and save it as a preset, um, you know, you, you would want to grab one of these on your own to do, you know, calibrations in the future. If you add acoustics to your room or you add uh, different seating, the room calibration is pretty sensitive. So any new thing that you add to the room, you'll want to kind of run a, a, a calibration, rerun a calibration for the room. Um, so that's one of the, one of the awesome things about Trinov is the room correction. It is unlike any other room correction, um, the way that it can mimic and throw sound throughout the entire space is very incredible. And it's, it's the best advancement for this type of technology. Whenever you have content that's not even in a 3D audio format like, audio, uh, like Atmos, you will still get an option to up mix that audio and um, really bring your speakers and room to life. Another cool thing about the calibration is the bass management. So Trinov has a really cool way of implementing bass management. You can redirect if you have subwoofers. If, for instance, if I had one up front, one in the uh, front left and rights, and then I had another subs in the rear left and rights of my room, I can actually add bass management to make it localized if you wanted to. Um, most of the time you'll want it to work in unison and kind of just blend in with the sound. But uh, I know there's one scene, for instance, Ready Player One during the race scene where King Kong is kind of running and chasing the car back behind you, you can hear those stomps. So if you wanted to localize those stomps. You didn't want that bass. Um, you know, you could, you could still have the fronts firing as well 
and rolled off at like a 60 or 80 hertz or something like that. But if you wanted to have the actual stomps run across the room, you can actually dial in the Trinov to where you can cut off that rear surround at 140 hertz if you want to, 120 hertz, whatever the frequency crossover you want and have the sub closest to that speaker fire. So that would handle all the mid range, all of the you know bass, all of the LFE from that back right area. That would all be sent down to that one sub while the other subs are not affected by that. So it's a cool feature. Um, if you want to use it, you definitely can. There's some movies that would take advantage of it. Uh, a lot wouldn't, but if you wanted to have this as a showroom piece or um, you wanted to have some fun with it, you can definitely play around to see if, if you like it in your space. But the base management overall, there's a lot to dig into. Um, we'll have a lot more videos on the actual technical side of the calibration the technical side of the crossovers and base management within the room within Trinov um, and some of the more features and more depth history on Trinov in future videos with John Herring from Trinov. So stay tuned to the channel because we're going to have a lot more um, in-depth reviews and content on Trinov itself because there's a lot to cover and a lot to get into. Um, and finally, uh, one of the coolest things I think about the Trinov is the optimization. The way that it is able to upmix and throw sound throughout the entire space. Um, I'll, I'll say it again, it's, it's the biggest impact I've ever had in my audio experience and journey throughout my whole uh, home theater career. Um, once I finally did implement the Trinov into the room, um, you know, it, it would bring the center channel up to where it was using the left and right to stereo image and the center channel to bring it. Because uh, in my room, I have the center channel below the screen. But with the Trinov, it seems like it is coming more from the screen. That's what you want. Because um, I didn't use an acoustically transparent screen for, for other reasons. We won't get into it on this video. but it's able to raise the center channel up. I know it sounds crazy, but it, it definitely does it. Um, it's able to, you know, if I had something chasing that is not quite in my ceiling uh, area or down at my surrounds and it was more, you know, in the median, it will stereo image the two closest speakers to put sound not necessarily where I even have a speaker. It's pretty crazy. You know, if you don't have a perfect room, if you don't have a perfect speaker layout, um, this is kind of a retrofit. I'm not saying it'll correct 100% um, of all the wrongdoings of having the speakers in the wrong spot, but it is able to move sound where it needs to be. It's uh, pretty incredible. Uh, like I said, you can have sound coming from a place in a room where before, it would just play from the speaker and you're like, oh wow, that's cool. I can hear the sound coming from over there. But what's really cool is whenever you have sound coming from somewhere where you don't have a speaker. So um, Trinov, it's, it's really cool technology to where um, you, it's very discreet. Um, the sounds and Atmos are really coming to life. And it's something that I've never experienced with you know, Denon, Marantz, Audio Control, Arcam, JBL Synthesis, uh, not to throw any of those guys under the bus, it's just not what you experience with Trinov. Uh, even the Storm um, processors as well, I've heard a couple of demos and they're just not quite implementing the same technologies that, that Trinov is and it's very incredible. Um, there's some other, other cool things with the Dolby Atmos viewer, you might have seen that before. Explore. Let's see all the little yellow balls moving around. That's the sound. The red are the speakers that are overhead. The green are all the speakers that are lower. It's basically taking your room model on a linear and skeleton structure and it's plotting your speakers wherever they are in the space. But it's also showing you which speakers are being active throughout a scene or a movie. And it's also showing dots to where if you have an active Atmos track and sounds are literally moving within and throughout the room, it'll show where that sound is trying to be mimicked and plotted 
and what you know what speakers are being utilized to try to mimic that sound so it's it's a pretty cool tool if you are you know showing a buddy of yours like hey this is the movie that we're watching this is this is where all the sound is coming within so it's very cool um, we'll get into more of the Dolby Atmos viewer whenever we do uh, movie reviews going forward in our channel so stay tuned to our channel for that as well um, but I just wanted to talk on Trinov and my experience with it so far for me it is uh, it's more complex than the other units out there um, there's a lot more to get into in the weeds and things like that with settings and configurations and tone curves and room curves um, but it just does an incredible job. So if you're looking to take your theater to the next level or if you already have a next level theater and you are in need of a processor update, if you can afford it, um, it is a premium product so it does have a premium price tag along with it. Um, I, I would definitely look at Trinov and consider Trinov. Um, it will make a huge impact on any caliber system um, that you're trying to implement it to. So uh, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater, and we'll catch you in the next one.